Hey what's up guys, Assalamualaikum and welcome to my video presentation Blockchain based e-voting system for student election in UITM My name is Muhammad Hazir Ahmad bin Hafiz and without further ado, let's go Here are the three problem statement or issue that this project highlight This project makes use of the advantages of the blockchain technology and implements it into the e-voting system. We can see here, I highlighted two of the main interesting blockchain features. This project also uses a smart contract. To have a better understanding, the smart contract is a piece of code that contains a particular function to do a specific task in a blockchain application. This is my final year project. ESRC. It is a prototype of an e-voting system with the implementation of Ethereum blockchain platform. My project also will be more focusing on functionality of a smart contract. Here are some of the descriptions of ESRC. This is a conceptual diagram for ESRC. I split it into three, the front end, the network part, and the back end. Next, let us see how this ESRC works. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. So this is my demo for my final year project. So I'll be splitting this demo into two parts, part one and part two. So this part one, I am uh, showing the uh, the web application for the e-voting system. So as you can see here, this is uh, the uh, main page or the index page. I uh, I name it to the election for student representative council UITM. So these are the remix IDE or the uh, smart contract. So these are the candidate details here that are hard coded into the smart contract. And also this is the Kenash which is the private blockchain network. So as you can see here the address and the balance of the fake Ethereum. And you can see also that there is one block which is the block uh, that used to deploy the smart contract. So to enter into the e-voting system, the student must have their details. So here are the two students. Uh, none of these details are real. I just uh, uh, manually create it and resemble to the uh, UITM uh, student. So to enter into the system, I must use the correct user ID. 0 and the correct password. BC123. In case I do it wrong, let's say I... So I can't log it. It shows wrong password. So once again, with the correct password, log in, and I can enter the system. So uh, here we can see the the voters details. So here are the voter details, student ID, email, and so on and so forth. Okay, sorry. So to vote, I just click vote here. And then uh, here are the details that uh, retrieve from the smart contract. So as you can see the smart contract here, I can see date 230 Faculty of Mathematical Sciences. I can see date 201 230 Faculty of Mathematical Sciences and as well as Faika Diana 43 Faculty of Mathematical Sciences. Eh, sorry, Faika Diana 243. So whenever the student want to vote which one, let's say the student want to vote Haikal, so they just click here and then done. So thank you for your vote. So that is all for the my first demo and we will see you guys again at the part 2 demo. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So this is my part 2 video demo for the election of SRC UITM. So as you can see here, here are the result page for the election of the SRC. You can see the candidate 1 and candidate 2. So as, as you can see here, these details are retrieved from the smart contract here. So here are the smart contract. So here are the details of the candidates. So here are the uh, the details that retrieve from the smart contract. So as I mentioned in this video before, so here are the block which is my uh, which is created after the smart contract being deployed. So 
to simulate the voting happen I will I'm using the uh, remix IDE which is the IDE for the smart contract for the solidity language so okay to simulate here let's say I choose uh, one of account and vote for candidates let's say candidates one I vote for candidate one which is uh, uh, the candidates count here it counts like uh, zero one so Mama Haikal is candidate zero Faika Dana is candidate one so let's say I want to vote for Faika Dana vote okay let, they say value uh, transaction okay so if if we can see right here it means that transaction is execution uh, succeed so successfully vote lah so we, when we go to the uh, Ganesh so we can see another block is mine so here are the block uh, for the vote that uh, we done uh, just now so and when we go to the result we refresh so we can see the Faikadana already have one vote so let's say we do it again let's say we want to vote for Haikal vote guess estimation failed so why this happen uh, it is because uh, in this smart contract uh, we, uh, we, will only, we will only allow uh, one uh, candidates to vote for, uh, sorry one voters to only for vote one candidates so that is why the same uh, account cannot vote twice so we have to choose another account and then we can vote for the uh, for Haikal so we can see here okay right suggestion success and we refresh so now both of them have one vote and then we can see at the block at the Ganesh, so there's three block now so that's all for this video i hope you learned uh, something uh, thank you very much esrc also aligned with the sustainable development goals or sdgs here are the two sdgs goals that esrc line up with The idea of ESRC derived from current e-voting system that UITM use. The innovation here is when the ESRC attempt to improve the reliability of the current e-voting system. On top of that, there is a lot of blockchain-based e-voting system research paper. So I think why not we start applying the blockchain-based e-voting system at the student level. The target community here are the UITM community. So here is how the ESRC will be beneficial to the UITM community. ESRC is successfully works as a prototype of UITM Student Representative Council election. Here some of the benefits. The ESRC also go through three parameter tests. Here are the results for the trustworthiness test where we can see the block recorded and other one is the expression of duty which is two election for different candidates from different faculty can be done in the same time. Next, let's see what are the impact that ESRC can deliver to the UITM. Before I end my presentation, let us take a look at the conclusion I've made for my final year project. So that is all from my video presentation. I hope I have provided you guys with a lot of useful information about my final year project. Last word from me, thank you for watching, happy independence day, stay safe and assalamualaikum.